what's up and welcome back to journey in beauty the mobile edition today we are in my bathroom for part one of the three-part series so if the camera's shaking that's why uh, the last video in this series will be a collaboration video with my sister Emma May who is also on YouTube and we're gonna start a project pan this year together so be looking forward to that video but first I thought I'd show you my makeup collection all right here we go we're in my bathroom here this is my makeup table where I keep all of my makeup um, not a super fancy setup right now, but it works. We've got here uh, all of my eye brushes. This is actually a little coffee cup that my sister gave me, which I love. Hashtag Gilmore Girls. So these are all of my eye brushes. Um, and I like to just take this whole cup over to the mirror in my bathroom and do my eye makeup over there. And then here we've got short handled face brushes, dimple brush, this ridiculous little brush from Bare Minerals that came in a boxy charm, I think, that I've never used. And then here we've got my longer handled face brushes. We've got Alpha brushes, Real Technique brushes, um, Sonia Kashuk brushes. That goes the same for these. I've got a couple Eco Tools. We've got, uh, let's see here, Luxie brushes, um, which I really like. And then, can you tell that I like mason jars? I use them for everything. Anybody who knows me knows that I love make mason jars. So here, this is my little eye jar is what I call it. I got my tweezers, I've got spoolies in here. Um, mascara, eyeliners, um, yeah, so that's what I like all of those in there so I can just grab for them. I keep my concealer brushes in here so I don't have to dig through my eye brushes to find them. And then right here we have the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, I talked about this in my last video. I use it all the time. And then we've got some Mac Fix Plus. This is just a little mini guy that I use specifically for foiling eyeshadows. Um, down here, we've got this cute little dish that I keep my sharpeners in. We've got a little compact that I use when I tweeze my brows. Um, sorry if it's a little echoey in here. My bathroom is rather large, so. And then here on this little shelf, I've got my color switch. I've got a little Huda Beauty um, Mauve Obsessions. Looking forward to trying that out some more. Um, here on top, this is my newest palette. This is the Ocean Sunset Lorac. I'm not going to show you guys every palette and open it up today since I'm holding the phone slash camera with one hand um, but here I usually keep um, my ABH triplets I call them um, but this one is my palette of, week, of the week on Instagram um, so check me out over there if you want to see me do three to five looks with the same palette um, I love ABH shadows so that's great we've got the sweet peach, sweet peach palette say that three times fast and then we've got here the Pure Palette. This is the Soiree Diaries that came in my very first boxy charm, so I was rather impressed. What do you guys think? Sorry, finger. We're gonna have to maybe edit that out or not because this is real life. Um, but this little white thing, I used to keep my perfumes. And then actually back in the day before I bought all this mass quantities of makeup, all of my makeup used to fit in this one drawer and you could close it which you can't now. <laughs> um, so I've grown a little bit, can you tell? Here we've got some highlighters, we've got Essence and a Becca highlighter here that came from BoxyCharm as well. We've got my blushes right here and here. Um, got some highlighters um, for sure. We've got some, here's a liquid highlighter from NYX, a little strobe cream from MAC, 
Here's some stiff blush and highlight from Ulta Beauty. These are all of my concealers. Shape Tape being the newest edition. I'm trying that out right now. We got this one by Pixie. Um, again, not gonna show you everything, but this uh, number seven concealer, some little pot concealers and an eye primer. This is that Pixie corrector I showed in my last video, December Faves and Fails, I believe. And then we've also got a little bowl here. Here's my freshly washed um, beauty sponges. This is a new to me product from Pure and it is called Hydra Gel Lift. It's supposed to be an under eye primer and it's cooling and it's supposed to help with the longevity of your concealer. We've got this little guy that I've been trying out from Clinique from their Moisture Surge line. And again, more jars here. This is where I keep my cotton balls and Q-tips and the Shiseido cotton squares. I love those. Um, and then in this little jar here, I have my foundations, which for me mostly means BB creams. We've got some little samples I've been trying out. We've got the Smashbox photo finish primer and then this Dermalogica Total Eye Care. Verdict's out on those, but we've got more primers here. There's the NYX, um, a little deluxe size of the Becca backlight filter, um, eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay anti-aging primer potion. So there's that. Um, I've got my lip pencils in this little thing here. This is my newest one. This is MAC um, in Whirl, which uh, Dramatic MAC just raves over, and I thought it would be a really good color for me. And so far, I really like it. So there's that. And then moving on, this is my skincare basket. You can see quite a variation of products here. This is my Garnier Micellar Water that I use every night for taking off my eye makeup. I've got this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, which I love. I got that in a BoxyCharm as well. BoxyCharm has really been knocking it out of the park lately. Back here I keep um, samples and little lip masks. Um, got this um, in the Ulta Winter Skin Care Collection. It's a vitamin C peel. Looking forward to trying that out. Uh, these are my CeraVe moisturizers that I'm using right now. Um, more to come on those in my future skincare videos. But this is the AM that has uh, SPF 30. And this is the PM. Um, and it actually has a couple of different acids and things like that in there, which are great for um, skin turnover, um, resurfacing the skin. Here's the Pixie Glow Tonic. I love that stuff. And then down here, we've got little deluxe samples of eye creams and moisturizers and things like that. I try to try something different, um, you know, regularly. And then the last thing here, you can see here's our palette of the week. That's where I have it, so it's easy to find. Um, here's some more of my palettes. We've got the whoop, upside down Winky Lux, um, specifically for Bo BoxyCharm. I love this palette. It's super cute, both the packaging and the colors. Um, got the Urban Decay Distortion Palette, which is new to me and was our palette of the week last week. Again, check out my Instagram, Journey in Beauty. Uh, we got the Clay Play. I like to keep that one handy for um, transition colors and things like that. But I also use the brown bronzer and the, um, what do you call it? The contour shade. Here's the Little Rock Pro Mega Pro 2. I love this palette. Um, this is the Morphe 35F, which is the Fall into Frost. It's got a, I'll see if we can get this open got a row of mattes here at the bottom and then the rest are all shimmer shades which is right up my alley I thought this would be really nice and easy 
um, to just quick whip out an eye look and have a variety of shimmer shades. So there's that one. Clunk, clunk. And then we've got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love that one. Um, just as an aside, the Sweet Peach palette, look at me, I said it that time, um, was my very first high-end palette that I bought. So just putting that out there. And then our last couple things, this is my little Z palette or empty palette from Tarte. Open, it has a really good magnet on it. Um, so, you know, I just have a couple things in there, little singles that I've gotten from Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Um, I hope to fill it up maybe with some ColourPop single shadows or something after after some time. I'm kind of on a low buy right now, which we'll get into in other videos. Oh, there's the camera. Um, and then this is new to me also. Most of this is. And this is the Urban Decay Afterglow palette. I got that when it was on sale for like $19. And then these are the Pure Lashes. I believe they're the, yes, the bombshell lashes, which Samantha March always talks about being one of her favorite lashes. And I wanted to, now that I've messed around with drugstore lashes a few times, wanted to get some higher end, higher quality lashes to mess around with and maybe wear for filming. And then this mess right here, this is what I'm wearing today. It's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. If you want kiss proof, proof transfer proof um, liquid lipstick that's not super under uncomfortable or maybe gives you butthole lips. <laughs> um, I like this formula a lot. I have this pink and then I have a red one. Anyhow, we'll just give you a close up and not pull out too much, but this is my, all of my lippies. There's a little Tom Ford mini. And I definitely am looking into some better storage for this because it makes it hard for me to um, find what I want to have to dig through this little bag, but it is cute. It's uh, from Estee Lauder and it says, what are lips after all but to kiss? So perfect for holding my lippies, but need a better organizational thing. All right, that's it. That's my makeup collection. You've seen it all. This is part one of a three-part series ending with Project Pan. Uh, stay tuned for the other two parts. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notifications when I upload in the future. I do plan to do two to three videos every single week, and if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Bye.